Make sure you bring some sort of uh, holy water or blessed metal with you. But I went out here and had like something go home with me, I believe. This place is called the most haunted cemetery in the world by locals. Welcome to Bachelor's Grove. People get the hair that stands up on the back of their neck and on their arms, goosebumps all over the place. I've been touched, I've been tripped, I've been bitten, I've been clawed. An older woman started talking to me in a nice calm voice, just said, hey John. And I turned around, there was no one there. People just steal stones left and right out of this place. Back when I was a kid, I did see a satanic ritual out here. Still to this day, you'll come out here and there'll be animals dead or skinned hanging from trees and stuff. Can you tell us your name, please? Lewis. Anthony. Are you right there? This one again. Someone's doing a ritual. Was it a ritual? There was a big group. We just found this. Isn't that a little creepy? This doesn't look like a good ritual either. What I really want to investigate is these weird ritual things that are, we've found here. They look like targeted rituals. A lot of what they want to see is that stone right there. A friend of mine, Judy Huff, took this. But that one ended up to be like one of the most famous ones in the world. On tonight's episode of The Paranormal Files, we are here at what some would say is the most haunted cemetery on planet Earth, Bachelors Grove Cemetery here in Illinois. Tired of trying, tired of knocking on your door. I said I'm tired of trying, tired of knocking on your door. This cemetery is absolutely infamous for the paranormal activity that happens here. People have seen satanic rituals being performed. Graves have been desecrated. There have been multiple murders in the cemetery. The mafia used a body of water behind the cemetery as a body dumping grounds. And the pictures of the spirits taken here will absolutely shock you. So join us today on The Paranormal Files as we investigate this notorious haunted hotspot here in the heartland of America. So this place is officially closed at sunset and our tour guide who just interviewed for us said that the police will immediately come in and arrest you if you're even here at dusk. So we're gonna be doing this investigation in the daytime today. Now what I'll add is that all the ghost photos that we are showing you during the interview, which are some of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life, every single picture was taken during the day and it's very, very active during the day. So we're about to start investigating right now. I'm Colin Browen, thank you. And uh, you're watching The Paranormal Files. My name is John Stevenson. We're at Bachelors Grove Cemetery, supposedly the most haunted cemetery in the world. I've heard that numerous times. I've had, I have a large Bachelors Grove website and I've got people from all over the world that come here. And a lot of what they want to see is that stone right there. That's the stone that they call the Bachelors Grove Madonna, some people do, with that picture. You can, you can cut the picture in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a friend of mine, Judy Huff, took this and uh, she was just doing infrared photography. Back in the day, that wasn't real popular either. And uh, she said she took it and developed it, and they saw that. And they do like I had told you earlier, they tried to debunk it. Because that's any good paranormal person tries to, if it looks too good to be true, you try to figure out if it is true or not. But that one ended up to be like one of the most famous ones in the world. And she still has the negative for that. Who do they think the woman was? Actually, I don't know. There's some theories of it, but I actually don't know firsthand where I would I could say, but there are people that say they supposedly know who it is. Kind of hard to identify, kind of a half translucent lady standing there. <laughs> 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 this place is known for that. Back in that corner, I was telling you, is when I was over there the one day, an older woman started talking to me and a nice calm voice just said, hey, John. And I turned around because I wasn't startled and there was no one there. And as you can see, there's nowhere to sneak in. That's in the back corner of a fence. <laughs> that, that was one of my creepier ones, but it didn't scare me. It just kind of caught me off guard. You don't expect someone to be talking to you that's not there. <laughs> as you can see, this place is in bad disarray, but this is thousand times better than it was 
like in the 80s and 90s when it started picking it up. It used to be dead trees everywhere, tombstones were knocked over, everything was painted on. It's actually, it looks bad now, but it's in good shape to how it used to be. Spent way too much time out here picking this place up. I had With my website, we'd come out here and we'd pick stuff up. And there was another group that came out here and did it too, so it had quite a bit of attention for a while. But when we came in here today, you said there's stones knocked over. Newer stones again. People seem to get kicks out of breaking the stones. Getting pan over there and show them all the stones that are broken. Yeah, that's really just bizarre. Behavior. And we'd go out here back in the day when I had the website. I spent way too much time out here. We'd come out here and pick the stones up. We'd get people together. In some cases, they were too, you just couldn't do it. But we'd try to pick the stones up. We came out here and we removed paint off of them and tried to give it some respect. I, I just can't comprehend how people can destroy tombstones. Doesn't make sense. That shows you one thing, ghosts aren't as powerful as you think because they'd be kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> right. You knock my tombstone over, I'm coming back to get you. <laughs> no, so th there's, I actually don't remember the number anymore. There's a lot of more graves in here, it's completely hidden and unmarked. The stones have been stolen. People just steal stones left and right out of this place. And that's, uh, over there's the lake slash swamp where supposedly the Chicago Mafia used to dump bodies. And there's people have seen different kinds of lights coming out of there, blue lights and things like that. Over there, they got the infant child one that's by there. That one's always, it's too big for them to move. A lot of these have just, the only ones that have been here since like in the 80s. But it, everyone destroys them. I don't actually have any idea why they do this kind of stuff. What's the history of this cemetery? It was a, I believe it was old German community that used to have little homes out throughout there. There's still some foundations out there you can find. They were German immigrants, I believe. I say if I'm wrong, I know I'll get crucified in comments. That's usually what'll happen. <laughs> Some of the newer, there's some new ones in there, like somebody was buried, I believe it was like in the 70s or something. So they're not all from back then. But a lot of these stones, even the ones that are up, have been moved. People take some sort of pride in moving stones around. Yeah, but this place, there's been all kinds of paranormal activity. It's known for uh, shadow people. I showed you the one picture of those two guys like wearing suits that are like shadows, basically. You, but you can see them if you look at them. But a lot of people come out here and they take a lot of pictures, like I did. I take pictures, sometimes I didn't even see some things I found for like a year later. So I don't, so I always take my pictures in twos and threes. You know, that way you can see if you've, if something just appeared in one shot. And but, you've got a lot of photos. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could show you more of the websites down. Eventually I'll get the website back up and then you can tell your viewers if they want to see it. Cause there's, and there's a lot of interesting stories from people that experiences out here too. And there's been a lot of them, and I showed you some pictures of some of the amazing uh, women that have been picked up out here besides this one mm -hmm. in full color. So what are some of the experiences that people have had out here, like crazy ones that you can remember? Well, a lot of people say they experience a wolf or a dog or something, like behind him or walking by him or something. Like, numerous times that's been reported. And back when I was a kid, I saw something like that too. It looked... The best way I could describe it was like a werewolf or a dogman or something, something tall with claws, and we saw it when I was a kid. But I don't remember details, I just vaguely remember seeing that. And we didn't drink, so it wasn't our imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Where was it? It was literally across the street in those woods. Oh, These God. woods continue for miles and miles and miles. It's not just this little spot here. This goes all over Cook County, and they're pretty thick woods. But they find, I mean, I know the police out here told me they find bodies out here. Not necessarily this one, but all the other force reserves. It's not unusual to find bodies out here. Then again, this is Cook County. I don't know if, if you know the Chicago history, but... What, what do you mean? Mafia-wise, it was very corrupt and uh, mafia kind of ran thing out here in the olden days. And you made somebody mad, they gave you cement, <laughs> cement shoes and you went swimming with the fishies. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy because the whole time on this trip, on one of our devices, we've been getting cement shoes. Yeah, that's yeah, our expression they used to use. Uh huh. That's weird. Yeah, Chicago Mafia was one of the bigger mafias in the country. That was quite active when I was a kid, still. You'd always hear stories about it. 
Like Jimmy Hoffa disappeared. That was from out here. <laughs> That's crazy. So why do you think that the spirits here at the cemetery are manifesting so clearly on pictures? I don't know. I don't know if it happens to everybody. Well, yeah, that one I showed you, those are two different people. But uh, some of them, like I say, are the clearest pictures I've ever seen in my entire life. But I don't know why. I, I don't know why they're still here. That's another question I have. Why is why are they staying here? Is What option? Can't they go to heaven? Are they stuck here? Or are they here because of the desecration? It, you know, it's so bad, perhaps they're just staying here because of all the destruction happening. Yeah, because cemeteries usually aren't, like, haunted. Right. You know? And this one is, like, really haunted. Well, this, this is the grounds, too. You go through the gate and you go down there. And some some days you can actually feel... You ever been to a haunted place and you walk in and you instantly can just kind of feel it? Yep. That's how this is sometimes. And other times it's like just a day having a picnic. It's nice in here. But you go down there and all of a sudden you just get chills. There's a section down there where the grass never grew and stuff. But rumors were always there was like rituals there and nothing ever grew. Back when I was a kid, I did see a satanic ritual out here. And being smart, I kind of hid. I didn't want to be involved in that. But there's a bunch of people in robes around a fire chanting and doing stuff. Really? Yeah. Out here? Uh-huh. Where at? This place was notorious for that in the, back in the day. It's still to this day. The, the police tell me they're still, they still catch people like that walking around out here in robes and stuff. Really? This whole area, everything through here has had activity. They're all haunted because the, the ghosts, their spirits out here, who says they got to stop at the gate? That's true. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's true. <laughs> we walked in. <laughs> so what kind of rituals do people do out here? Because that's really interesting. I actually don't know. I mean, I, I saw that. I knew what it was. I didn't know what they were doing, and I didn't stay around because I was just a kid, and it scared me. I didn't want to be involved in that but th there's a fire and they were wearing robes and they were chanting but they say i didn't stay very long i just i felt very uncomfortable around that understandable yeah. i and, think if i was a kid i saw that i would not stick animal, around. Food, there'll, there'll be animals hanging from trees still to this day you'll come out here and there'll be animals dead or skinned hanging from trees and stuff so there's still activity really that's pretty crazy yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what are some of the famous stones in here? You got uh, this one. Can we walk over to a couple? Yeah. Of them? Well, so the one over there is the, that big one, and next to it is the infant child. That one seems, everyone seems to be obsessed with that one. Is this it, is how this is looked forever. They just, someone's stolen all the stones. I don't have the numbers on me. I, I can't access my website, but I actually got a plot of what this used to look like with the, with all the stones in it. And a lot more? Yeah. There's yeah, a fire truck for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's one of the infant daughter where they leave all kinds of stuff all the time. I'm not quite sure of the meaning. I've heard of leaving pennies and stuff, but they leave all kinds of weird. I mean, she, she, she's got a nice skull out there now. <laughs> <laughs> but these two stones have never been messed with. They've actually always been there. And they say there's more. As, as you walk around, there's more than you realize because there's, like up over behind there, you can see it's one of those, those concrete mm -hmm. en enclosures they have in some of the cemeteries. Yeah. That's what's left of one over there. But this one is actually a well-known well one. I always take pictures of that when I'm out here too. That side is like all chiseled away, nice and pretty. <laughs> Obviously too big for someone to steal or it wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd have a hard time stealing that. I bet that thing was... Yeah. Well, I that's why it's still up. <laughs> At least they got respect because the infant daughter on the other side is still there. So they might have some respect for it. Shields, I remember that one. I don't know stories about it. I just remember seeing ones out here. There used to be some in here. You know, when I came out here once in a kid... As I told you, you used to be able to drive up here. That wasn't the road, or that, that wasn't the road there. We came in and somebody was pulling out and their car was dragging. They had a tombstone in their trunk. <laughs> like these, these are all stolen. Yeah, the, the stones that used to be in there. And that's definitely a reason why a place could be so haunted. <laughs> well, for some reason, people think it's funny to just knock stones over. They're just That's just not right. 
I don't remember if we ever tried to lift this one up or not. We used to come out here and try to fix them, but some of them are just too heavy. Oh, I didn't even realize this had been pushed over. Yeah, they used to sit, used to sit up there. And I wouldn't imagine being buried out here in 89. This is still a decrepit, creepy yeah. place. <laughs> I'd like to be buried here, but I'm, I'm just weird and demented that way. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been here in a while, but I could look at old photos. I don't think this one was here. It was, was moved here. See, it's not on a base or nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's literally like right next to tree trunk or roots. Right. Yeah, that'd be... I've actually got, once I can access my stuff, to archive everything, I took pictures of every tombstone in every location. And I got an archive of exactly where each one was and how they looked. One over here. This one's been down as long as I can remember, too. We've had a lot of activity in that corner. More than one person has actually said they've heard things or felt things over there, too. This here at one point used to come out here practically every day and I'd bring groups of people with me and we'd just wander around this place. So why have you been so fascinated with this place? Well, I've been coming here since I was a teenager, but just now and then. But then it was back early 90s. I don't remember anymore, but I started coming out here all the time and this place was just desecrated. Trees knocked down, full of garbage and all that stuff. And I just started picking stuff up. And then I wanted to, I had some weird experiences where I could feel things and sense stuff out here. And I started my website and I wanted people to share their stories. And that's when all of a sudden I'm like, my God, that's not just me. Cause there's people from all over the world telling me stories out here. A lot of them seem to be the shadow people. People see ghostly women, it seems too. And there's that more than one time I've heard about a, a werewolf looking thing or a, a dog man or something like that. But apparently there was a lot of uh, satanic activity here at one time. They were here all the time. Doing rituals and stuff like uh -huh. that. I'm assuming back when it was really decrepit. Over in this corner is where they attempted to dig somebody up one time. What do you mean? They actually, they had it dug down like four foot down. They were trying to dig the coffin out. Like there, teenagers? There was a, I don't remember. There's a backstory to that, but to be honest, I don't remember the story anymore. That's where we came in as a kid. That hole in the gate. That's so I mean, crazy. Because there used to be a gate on here, a big gate that you couldn't get in. Right there is where we used to get in. That's crazy it's been like that. Perfect because legal though. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy at night. Yeah. There's all these woods around too. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was here at night. You can't do it now. They're very, very strict about coming in at night. They actually come out here and they, they patrol. And if you're parked over there, which is the only place to park, you can they be don't. you can be here one minute past dusk, you got a ticket. They, they did that to me one time. I was showing people, we're trying to get back, walking up the path. I got a damn ticket. I mean, it was... <laughs> to be honest, we've heard things out here all the time. I spent so much time out here and I always usually had people with me from my website because people would always come and we'd come out here in groups. And I would do like I'm doing for you. I would tell them this and that. And then everybody would go out with uh, their cameras and their digital recorders. What did, did you hear about the EVP I got out here? Was uh -huh. that Ghost Adventures? Yep. That was pretty creepy. I had a website member. He was trying to learn how to do an EVP. And he's like, hello, is anybody here? What are you doing? Can you hear me? Do you want to talk? And I'm like, slow down. Say something and give it a chance to answer. And then it comes back. I'm going to kill you. And he's like, is that normal? I'm like, yeah, it that, that happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it, it actually had scared me, and I just didn't want to say nothing. What? <laughs> I mean, what would be saying he wants to kill you? Like well, part like of I wonder is because that guy was kind of irritating because he was saying things and not giving it a chance to answer. Yeah, right. <laughs> but there have been a lot of EVPs. I've been out here in the winter before. I was somewhere down there and we were walking around and I hid my uh, digital recorder just down there to see if anything happened. And then we walk back, come for a while, play my recorder later, and you can hear, you know, cold snow crunching, crunching snow, footsteps. And then footsteps go away. And then we're looking and there's no footsteps. There's nothing to it but where I walked. But we, we actually got it on the recording of footsteps coming and going and there's nothing there. That's crazy. That was another one of the weird ones. Well, that's such a distinct sound too. Yeah, especially when it's that cold crunch snow, you know, oh, that, no. and that always leaves a footprint. Yep. You crunch in it. And saying down this path down here, 
lot of people don't realize that that whole area is known to have things happen too. You, there's senses. You can just feel things. At, at one point, there's a place away in the back. It's probably gone after. There's a uh, kind of like a teepee like thing somebody built with multiple big logs. And any, if you go under it, you would get disoriented. And, you know, I thought it was just me and I would actually have other people from my website come out there and I wouldn't pre warn them. I'm like, go stand under there once. Nine out of ten times they, they got disoriented and sick. That's so weird. See, I don't know what that is either. Uh huh. You know, is that paranormal or is that satanic or something, you know, something weird. But I used to be sneaky. I wouldn't tell anybody. I go, go stand under there a minute. <laughs> <laughs> of course, website people didn't trust me after that. <laughs> so, what about the murders out here? I read about a woman that her husband, she murdered. There was a body found. I've been told they found bodies out here, but I don't know backstories as far as that one goes. I haven't even heard that one, I don't think. Yeah, there was a, a body found here, and then the woman lured her husband, her boyfriend out here, and then she slit his throat in the cemetery. I found a newspaper It article. sounds believable. That's what you got to do is research the things, yep. too, because there's so much that's happened. This place has been haunted since, apparently, like I heard, like in the mid-1950s. That's crazy. You know, it's been going, and I was here in the late 70s. And we knew it was haunted, but you could access it. This road was still open. We came out here and played around. I, if I knew now what I knew back then, I wouldn't have been out here in the middle of the night. <laughs> right. <laughs> but there's there's graves everywhere out here. The, they're just all have literally been stolen. Well, do you want to show us some of your pictures? Sure. And then we could go walk a little bit into the woods. But this is just someone the graveyard is in bad shape it was way worse than this this is when it was already picked up part of the way but this one and this one you see there's trees everywhere on top of everything they're all knocked down and that's how the whole place used to look and then this one's that one i showed you you can kind of take a picture of that see how observant your viewers are there's just two people in the cemetery when that picture was taken myself and uh uh, my friend named Rachel, and we were the only two in the cemetery. So okay, now if you look you're right here, and then you zoom in, you get this. That that was the freakiest thing I ever saw in my life. And the look on her face, you know, it's like, oh, you know, she doesn't she look like she's like gasping, like she was seen? And, yeah. And she's semi-translucent. She kind of fades away. So then we recreated this. My friend Rachel came out here and we got in the exact same spot. We figured it out where it was. And to get, we measured from the tree. We do this real scientific so you know it's something that's legit. We got her the exact same way as that. She was kneeling on it in thorn bushes on a tombstone to get to be, to be that size. So this is a ghost. I, I would say. <laughs> it's it's, sem it's semi-translucent. But this is one someone claims I hired an actor for. Yeah, I mean, you can clearly see, like, the stick going through her body. Yeah, she's a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that really has to be the craziest possibly thing I've ever seen. Me too. That's... And that's you were there when it was taken. It was only me and her. And we were standing, like, right there. Right here is where it was taken. It's all gone now, but that's where this stuff was. And we were just standing literally right there. We were the only two in the graveyard. And look around. You know when someone else is here. It's not as if they can hide. Well, they do. The spirits do. But <laughs> Okay, here's the other one I was showing you. This is my buddy. We were at the graveyard. That's the night I got a ticket. I stayed one minute past dusk. <laughs> so he was sitting right there. And right here, way back there in that little corner. When you zoom in, this is what you see. It looks like a cross between a, a wolf and a baboon. It has a... It really does. I know. But it's... It, like, we went back. That's what this is. We measured everything, you see, to make sure there's no logs, there's no tombstones, there's nothing there that can mistakenly look like a little mini werewolf. Do you think that was the wolf creature that people see? I don't know. The thing is, is... It wasn't mean, apparently, because we were literally <laughs> very close. That thing could have ate us if it was wanted to. It was just, like I say, it was just right here back in the edge of the woods when my buddy was standing here <laughs> adjusting his camera not knowing he could be murdered at any moment. <laughs> I sent him that picture and he about crapped his pants. 
these are just in, in, some infrared shots of the graveyard. You tend to see, I don't know if you deal with infrared, infrared's a spectrum that you see ghosts in a lot of times. This one here is one I told you. I generally don't circle things either. That's a pet peeve of mine. People send me photos and they circle and it just irks the crap out of me. But that's another one I took and didn't see for like a year later. But if you look at it, all of a sudden you see two guys and it looks like they're wearing, you know what I think it is, is uh, Chicago Mafia guys. Nice suits and everything. You oh can see God. their collars and everything. That's so crazy. And then here's another one we actually had where this yellowish orange thing appeared. And the sunlight, there's sunlight, there's sunlight. Sunlight's white. But I take, as I told you, I take two or three pictures at a time to debunk things. It's only in one picture. It's not in the rest of them. Yeah, right there. See, that's that's unnatural looking. I get things like that. I don't know what they are. I just know that... It looks like a puff of fire. Yeah. Could have been from the werewolf. <laughs> Let's see what else. And this one is just... This is more how it used to look. And there's there's your swamp in the summer. Which looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's where, supposedly where the bodies are at. And that's actually all I have here. Well, like I say, down the line, when I get access to my photos, I'll be sure to send you a bunch of them. And you can post them if you want and you know, show your viewers. Because this is just a tiny bit out of thousands that are posted on the site. Yeah, but all you have, I mean, that, those are like some of the craziest <laughs> paranormal things I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's wild. And I mean, I absolutely swear, those are all legitimate. There's nothing faked. They're, they're all real photos. Because also people say that I've had people accuse me of, like, why fake it? Am I getting rich? You know, you pay me to tell me it's cool. There's no reason to fake something like that. <laughs> And then make some lady dress up and then kneel in a thorn bush and, <laughs> and then, then turn translucent. Jeez. That's the hard part. It's hard to find actors that can do that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just some of the things. EVPs out here, a lot of people have got EVPs. That one I had, even, even Zach, who hears them all, he was impressed with that one. If you go to their site, they actually made a game show out of it. I don't know if you've seen that or not. Uh -uh. Guess this EVP, and they play it, and then they give you three choices of what it says. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Well, do you want to walk into the woods a little bit? Sure. That, doesn't, that never sounds good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't right. know you guys. You got two big bags. You're like, you want to walk in yeah. the woods? <laughs> <laughs> this is some mafia shit right here. <laughs> Let's take a walk. I don't know. Now, in through here are the remnants of there's little foundations from the original settlement that was out here. They're hard to find. I'm not even going to take it. They're, they're in the middle of the woods, and I haven't been here in a while. See, here's what's... This is the original road. This is where you used to drive, right through here. That's why they said the Mafia would dump here, because literally the road was right there. But just forest on either side. Makes sense. Uh-huh. You think that they might have buried bodies out here? I don't know if they'd take that time. But there could be, there could be shallow graves. I bet if they ever used a... What's that? LiDAR. Isn't that that one that can see uh -huh. everything? I bet that'd be amazing out here. Kind of eerie to think of how much just woods there is that they've never scanned or checked. Well, that's actually all, all of Cook County for the most part. Yeah, right. If you ran that stuff through all the Cook County woods, you'd probably find a lot of missing residents. <laughs> Just eerie woods. I, mean, I said that's that corner where I told you that lady spoke to me. You know, from behind me, she, she was somewhere in that corner. That was the absolute weirdest, thing. and it wasn't scary. It was a, it was an old woman. You could just tell. <laughs> so kind of a nice little. Spirit. I was talking with my one friend. We were saying that she was just thankful I was cleaning up that cemetery. Mm -hmm. What's up with these like purple stick? Or I think those are thorn bushes. Was there? Was it was it paranormal thorn bushes? That's our that's our running joke we have out here when we used to work with all my website members. You'd see a toad and I'm like, that looks like a toad, but that's a paranormal toad. <laughs> Everything we saw out here, you put the word paranormal in front of it. Right through there. And that's like I said, this used to be the original Middle Othian Highway, which is over on there now. That's the road we try to cross where I told you they try to kill you when they drive so fast. <laughs> I haven't been here for a while, but this is overgrown now. 
these trees must have fall. The road goes clear through there, and then there's a, there's a big clearing back there. But I say I don't feel like jumping through all this. Nah. Somebody's gonna end up falling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, either way, this part back here is haunted too. There'll be days when you go back here, and there's just that that feel. You know, you've been to paranormal places. That feel of evil or something right there. Mm-hmm. At nighttime, this place is terrifying. We used to hang out here as kids. What's the specific thing you feel in the forest area? Anything? Just like the graveyard, actually. That's what I say. It seems to move. Because there's, there's sometimes when you go to the graveyard, and it just feels like you're having a nice picnic in the park. Mm -hmm. And there's other days you go out there, as soon as you cross the gates, you can feel a thickness in the air. It's, it's just very... Like obviously, it's not just like my imagination or others because hundreds of thousands of people from around the world come out here. Right. Back in the day when I was here, I mean, I told you, I had met people from, from Germany and England and France, all over the world that just wanted to come by and see this place. It used to be fun. I used to be the tour guide. <laughs> well, you still are one today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things go away after generations, apparently. Everything I knew back there and all this stuff just faded into the woods because yeah, it's right. not there anymore. <laughs> there you go. Piece of cake. <laughs> we had one time we were out here, I believe it was with my brother and his wife. We're in the graveyard and all of a sudden we turn around and there's a guy dressed in beautiful clothes, nice suit and dress shoes. And he's out there walking around and then we're like, what is he doing? We turn around and turn back and he was gone. Really? Yeah. What do you think he was? I don't know, but why would you be out here in a suit? It's a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been fancy hiking before. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, There's a wolf. Shit. Did you see that? <laughs> what the f Dude, it's a wolf. It's a wolf. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> Hope he's not going to get his friends. He just went, I found lunch. <laughs> yeah, these guys are slow. Connor, remember the other day I said, what if there's a fucking wolf out there? And you were like, nah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy as shit. Dude, that was a big wolf too. It was too. Wolves don't usually hang out alone either. That's kind of creepy. Well, supposedly people see wolves out here, but the big black ones is what everyone says. That was just the normal... <laughs> Look, he's right there. Is see it? I don't know, I think he's coming wild. around here. Oh, he is. Yeah. Oh, f <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming this way. <laughs> oh, shit. shit. What the f do we do? Oh, dude, f that. Yeah. It's right there. Dude. That's a wolf. That's not a dog. <laughs> oh, he's looking at us. Stop. Well, that's been creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I told you everything out here. We put the word paranormal in front of it. That's a paranormal. That's a paranormal wolf. <laughs> Watch it. Even just seen the wolf by itself. Watch it turn into one of the shapeshifters. All of a sudden, it stands up that, and it's a person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. I've never seen a that's wolf in the crazy. wild before. And the whole time I've been here, I've never seen a wild wolf like that. That's great. I wonder what the spiritual significance of a wolf is. It means impending danger and doom. <laughs> <laughs> Good for us. Well, well, if he goes and gets his friends, it is. Look, that was creepy. It'd be worse if we were back there. Yeah, right. <laughs> Try to run. Trying to cross the creek and it's, it stands up at the <laughs> where we got him. Yeah, we were just making werewolf jokes, too. Skinwalker Ranch thing. I think of wolves. Uh -huh. the, the wolf there in that one story where the that big, huge one, and they shoot it, and it just doesn't even phase yep. it. 
What is Skinwalker Ranch where you got like surrounded by coyotes? That was at Lake Mead. Oh, yeah. Skinwalker Cave or something like that. Yep. You? We went there and then I went to the property that borders Skinwalker Ranch called UFO Valley. It literally, the property line is like yeah. right there. I don't know if I want to say that <laughs> yeah, again. Let's, but... let's have you re say that because that's really interesting. Well, I was telling you when you uh, asked about this to make sure you bring some sort of uh, holy water or blessed metal with you because I it wasn't just me other people who had it happen but I went out here and had like something go home with me I believe and I had a rash of bad luck that lasted for years no matter what I did and I had saw a psychic somewhere I was at and I'm not a psychic believer let's put that out there and she told me there's something attached to me and uh, that's the way she was talking about it. she even knew she goes it was at a graveyard you came from a graveyard and then she uh, she gave me a a blessed medal, and actually everything cleared up after that. But for the longest time, I had it was just like there was a dark cloud with me, and I knew it. So when she said that, I actually understood it too, even though I didn't 100% believe. I don't believe in the psych the 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 card readers and all the psychics and all that stuff. There are some real ones, but the majority of them, as you know, too, are all fake. But what she said made sense. And uh, it actually made it go away. Uh, there's a possibility that something's going to attach to us. you came in the car, three or four you might leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it's not like a mobster spirit that's trying to yeah, kill right. us. I've had a, you see a floating gun in the backseat. <laughs> okay, so he just left our interview. Um, and he texted me right here. I'm going to hide his number. I'm about halfway up the path. There's something following me in the woods. He just left us. He said there's something following him up there. It's a little <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Like all the way up to the top. Dude, and look at both of those things. That was it spiked like all the way up here. That's crazy. So we haven't even started investigating yet. We just finished our interview here, and already this REM pod is spiking on this tombstone. So is that one, and Connor just recorded a red spike in EMF energy on the K2. Look at that. Down here. And it's spiking up to yellow right here. I'm bring it back here. So they definitely want to talk already. Yeah. All right, let's do our intro. All right, everybody. So it is Super Bowl Sunday, actually. Happy Super Bowl, baby. Woo! What do you got? I got no team. I was Eagles. I was Team Eags. Team Eags? It's too hard to pull it up. I got an Eagles tattoo up here. I'll take mine out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so instead of watching the big game, we're fucking here in the cemetery, baby. Very cold out. I'm very excited to investigate this place. Guys, you don't get more iconic than Bachelors Grove Cemetery. I mean, this is a place that since I was a child, I've been reading about and been interested in. I mean, right there, one of the most famous spirit photos of all freaking time was captured, literally right there on that stone. It's a photo that millions, millions of people have seen. And, oh, I swear, I just, I kept seeing, I keep thinking I'm seeing people walking around the woods. Fucking weird. Um, but it's definitely eerie out here, there's no doubt. And as you saw in that clip, we already picked up on some REM pod hits. The REM pods are quiet now, which is weird, but... Connor, how are this, you doing, buddy? This is a freaky spot. I mean, even just the fact that, like, this was a body dumping ground, not just for, like, the people who were buried here, but for, like, victims of crimes by the mafia, werewolf sightings out here, witchcraft, satanic rituals, you got the whole nine yards here. Uh, this place is so notorious that, I mean, even during the day, people are catching clear, clear pictures of ghosts. 
So I think we're in for a treat. I already have some kind of weird feelings about this place, so I'm ready to get started. All right. Well, guys, it's an experiment. Do ghosts still haunt the area in the day? I think the answer is going to be yes here. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're here right now in the Bachelor's Grove Cemetery. Regina. Epiphyte. Epiphyte? Epiphyte? I don't know what that means. But this REM pod is going off like crazy right here. To whoever's here right now, in the Bachelor's Grove Cemetery, or in the woods, we're here to speak with you today. I just want to introduce ourselves. My name is Colin. My name's Connor. So if you can hear my voice, if any of the women that have been seen here are here, please come speak to us. And he died here. He died here, we can see you all. Ritual! Whoa! Yeah, don't worry, we're not here to do a ritual. Electrical. We're not here to do a ritual today. We just want to speak with you and we want to figure out who's haunting the cemetery because Apparently there are a lot of people here and some of the things here aren't so nice. Fear me, it's a myth. You must go. Please take care. <laughs> so, something else to add in here that he didn't talk about in the interview is in 1966, a hunter was walking around in these woods surrounding this cemetery, like this immediate area and he found the mutilated body of a teenage girl. She had been murdered. Then in 1988, a woman lured her boyfriend out to the cemetery and he was murdered and his body, once again mutilated, super bloody, was actually found inside of this cemetery. Um, in addition, the guy who was lured out here who was murdered, he had hit her ex-lover with the car, so he was a murderer himself. There have also been other bodies, corpses found in this area, like there was a fatal car crash that happened right at the edge of the cemetery. There have been a couple of those and people that took Two their lives here. here. Two men here. The two gangsters. So whoever's here, if you see any of our little devices, those little toys set up around the graves. Tragedy. If you can go touch them to show us where you are, that would be great. Hunt. Hunt? I just said the hunter found the bodies. Where are you in here? You're standing over by Moss's grave. <coughs> Growing. Can you tell us your name, please? Greed. <coughs> Don't sleep. Can you tell us why there's so many spirits here? I worked here. I worked here. Stop. No air. This one's going off. You over here? It's got so quiet. Are you right there in front of us? They rise, they will pass. Oh, this one again.
You said you were gonna move something. Can you do that for us? It's like it went down and sat on the tombstone. Is this a member of the Moss family? Moss. You're religious? You think that we're here to do a ritual? Is that why you're a little bit nervous? Hydrochloride. Earth. Dearth. Star. Hunter. 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 I just said at the beginning of this clip, a hunter found a teenage girl's body out here. Smother shrimp. Gruesome. It was gruesome. Denise. Denise. Hmm? Denise. Alexander. Denise Alexander Anthony. Let's bring them. There's somebody right here. All right. Stab. So whoever's standing, whoever's standing right here, were you stabbed? Nancy. Nancy. Wait. Lewis. Hunter and Lewis. Wait. All right, I want to try talk to the woman who's been seen sitting right here. People have taken your picture. You're beautiful. We're coming here with respect. We just want to figure out what your name is, ma'am. Can you tell us who you are? Writer? Failure, writer, characterize. If you were the woman, were you a writer before you died? A failed writer? You wanted to be an author? How many spirits are here in this graveyard? Right in. He has his eye on you. Did you hear that like probably He has his eyes on you. Who's he? Can you tell us his name? I lost my life here and besides now. So it seems like someone's beside us right now. Is it the woman that was pictured on this tombstone? Is this the woman who was captured in that photo? You looked really beautiful wearing a white dress, long hair. You were sitting right on top of this stone. Thank you. It's got quiet after that. Okay, two. Whoever you are, can you please, since you're here with us, can you tell us your name, please? What's your name? People are dying to know who you are. Monster. Werewolf? Timothy. Timothy. I'm upset. You're upset? Maybe it's like a woman who wanted to be a writer, her career never took off. Were you a writer and you're upset because you felt like a failure before you died? 
You can just touch that little red light and that'll be a yes. Republic and Senate. Is that true? Were you a writer? Leave me alone. Damn. You don't like us talking to you? Quote. Whoa, another writing thing. Can you tell us? It's kind of like one of those cemetery things where there's a ton of different voices and people here. We just want to talk to the woman right now who's been seen in the Bachelors Grove Cemetery. So it sounds like you were a writer. You considered yourself a failure. You were pretty sad. Did you take your own life? Successful. Successfully took her life. Or I said failed writer. So you were a successful writer? Focus. Hunter, bro, again! On all three devices. Hunter. Fortune. Backyard. Backyard. Maybe the hunter found. Well, there's houses back here. Yeah. So it was found in the backyard of the houses. And the cemetery. The backyard of the cemetery. Is this the girl whose body was found in this area by a hunter? Are you talking about... that there's something behind me. Leaf. <laughs> Couple leaves behind me. Illustrate. Illustrate. Dude. So there's definitely a... Beware of the dark. Beware of the dark. Well, first of all, we can't be here in the dark, but it really seems right now like there's a writer, a ghost of a writer. I mean, it said, like... Illustrate, writing, writer, failure, description, like all writing terms. And it said hunter like five times and a hunter found a young girl's dead body out here. So that's you. Adventure. Alarm. It just said alarm. Trickster. Trickster. Are you wanting us to go adventure out into the woods? Is this a trickster spirit? Maybe you're not actually the young girl. Introduce yourself. My name's Connor. Hey there, my name's Colin. We're from Houston, Texas. We came all the way here to speak with you today. So we have the girl who was murdered out here, who was found by the hunter, and a writer, is that correct? Somebody who wrote? Hey. Maybe. Maybe. Representation. It gets so quiet. All right, we're gonna to move to a different grave. What's the name of the writer whose spirit is here? All right, we're gonna walk around a little bit and try to see if we can figure out whose name, who we're talking to. Dude, what's that shit? Who's tarot card? Dude, seriously, what is this, bro? Jesus Christ. Let people go. What the fuck? 
Monique Anarado. What are these other cards? I think these are tarot cards. I can't tell. These are just sitting here in the middle. This looks like some sort of a ritual. There's another one right here. Look, right all in here. Communication. This is Alonzo William Clay. Empire. Let me see. What is this shit? Oh, oh, there's like candle and incense. Where? Like someone's doing a ritual. Oh. Oh, dude, candle and incense. Rituals are happening here. Are there still rituals going on here and that's why you're upset? Convince prisoner crack. I'm from the 1800s. Well, so most of the graves out here are 1800s graves. So you're from the 1800s, you were an author back then. And it seems like you're a little bit upset that they're doing Monster. rituals out here. Monster on two different devices. Oh, dude, I'm a little creeped out. Have people been doing rituals out here to summon a monster? And those rituals worked and there's a monster out here now? Ten spirits. Ten spirits. Helpless. Helpless. Ten helpless spirits. Dude. What is this shit, bro? Oh. One other picture. Gordy, Gordy Vaughn. Sit here. What the sound is it? Sit here. Jailhouse. Oh, what the f bro? Yo, what the f dude? It's like the stab through the face? Through the mouth. Dude, jailhouse. Prisoner, jailhouse. This is protect. Abortion, unique. What the f is going on out here? Dude, actually though, what the f is this, bro? Guys, this is really creepy, is it not? Look at, we just found this. I wonder if there's any more. I know, I wanna go look around. Doesn't this look like some ritual fing shit? That's this doesn't look like a good ritual either. Exit. Dude. They keep saying beware the dark exit. And like he was saying earlier, people still come out here all the time to do rituals. What if they've actually been they brought something in here? Come back by yourself. Execute. Leave and come back by yourself. Here. Here. Dude. Yeah. Positive. Come. Exit. Come. Left, us. left us. Come back by yourself. Execute. Yeah. If there's anybody that's watching this video that knows a little bit more about rituals and stuff, if you could tell us what those pictures are, that would be great because that's creepy. Over the edge. Central. Dude, Most likely. there's a ton of energy and activity here, bro, but it feels 
It's getting a little bit more ominous. How cute. You want to help us? Casket, she loves you. She loves you. Casket, she loves you. Who throws casket in a cemetery? She loves you. I don't like. I don't like that. Well, this little, there's some wrong piece of paper. Maybe she loves you. Leave. Dude, these are going crazy with the words. The cards. Open window. Dude, okay, what the f is that, bro? Did someone like. Hunter! Hunter again, bro! Uh, 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 There's more to come. Yo, this looks like somebody tore apart a f***ing teddy bear. This is freaking weird, dude. Doesn't it look like that? Like, these are clearly like the insides of a stuffed animal that someone like, ripped up. Bro, look at all this. I just think this is f***ing weird, bro. Like, who came out here and ripped up a stuffed animal? Let's go look over here. Cool. A werewolf. So, you guys gotta keep in mind, Bachelors Grove Cemetery has been a hot spot for rituals since the 1970s. Like, this place is really, really infamous. Patricia. Patricia. This place is infamous for the rituals that have happened here. It's just so eerie. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, I know that might just be nature, but this is a big ass tree, dude. Isn't that a little fucking creepy looking? I don't, don't see. Be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Need help getting out. There's something weird going on here. Look at this though, bro. Look. What the f Another picture. Wait, Monique? Yeah. Like, dude, what is this shit? Screws? A shower? Wrong. Car. Yeah. Key. Huh? Oh, key. Yes. And that's just like a screenshot off of someone's Facebook. So since we don't have too much time here. We're gonna do a quick five minute DR60 and then an Estes method because I think we've been talking to a hunter for sure or somebody who has something to do with a hunter. It's weird that a girl's body was found out here by a hunter. Then there's a woman or somebody who seems to be a writer, maybe a failed writer. But what I really wanna investigate is these weird ritual things that are, we've found here and it's and creepy. It's like they're, they look like targeted rituals. Like, I don't know why someone, I don't know why someone would just print a picture off of themselves and leave it here if it, and carve their own mouth out for a ritual. All right, guys, so. We're still here in the Bachelor's Grove Cemetery. I'm sitting on this ritual stump right now. 
We're going to do a quick DR60 session, and then I'm going to do an Estes method sitting right here. Because what we've uncovered so far, like I just said, there's some connection to a hunter. We don't know what that is. It might be the girl whose body was found by one. There's a spirit that was a writer, a failed writer maybe. And then there's this insane ritual stuff. It even said the first word was ritual. So, let's ask some questions. Okay, I want to know, is there something here that was conjured by a ritual? What are all these pictures for around here? When was the last time that a ritual was performed out here? How recently did that happen? How many spirits are here in the cemetery with us? What's the name of the woman who was found sitting on that grave right there? If you're here, miss, what's your name? Are there monsters out in this woods? Okay, I want to know. Is there something here that was conjured by a ritual? What are all these pictures for around here? When was the last time that a ritual was performed out here? How recently did that happen? We definitely got some voices, but since the sun's going down, we're going to hop right into our Estes because we don't want to get arrested. Right here. <clears throat> hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week, to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video, let's smash that like button, and comment spooky dookie in the comment section below. I'm going to give you all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So go comment, you can comment multiple times, it helps the video so much. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much, and stay spooky. Can you tell me? Hello. Hello. My name's Connor. This is Colin you're speaking to. Can you tell me what your name is? Miss Caroline. Caroline? There's others. How many are there? <laughs> D 
just way too many. Watching the big game. I'd leave. Can you tell me what all these pictures and hmm. things are around here? What were those for? I don't really know. Was it a ritual? There was a big group. <laughs> it's cold here. That is very true. It is cold. Can Dude, again, leave before dark. We are going to be leaving before a good start. The sun's setting right now. Can you tell me, is the hunter here? That found that girl's body? Different kind. A different kind of hunter? Looking for you. Why are you looking for me? Whoa. He won't say. Look at the photos. Are we going to see you in the pictures? Ugh. He's by the bush. Ugh. What bush? There's quite a few bushes around here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, no problem. Is there anything you can tell me about yourself? College application. Did you go to college? Nope. Why not? Did you try? I drank too much. Oh, rituals. Rituals like that, bro that did you see the rituals happen tonight another there's gonna be more rituals tonight dude y'all get going yeah we're gonna get going in here in a little bit Is there anything you'd like to tell us about yourself before we leave? Jonathan. Jonathan's your name? Cynthia. Jonathan Cynthia. Is that the two spirits names that are here? Check the water. Was your body dumped in the water? I feel it coming. What's it? Oh, I just heard like a, huh? Ah! Is there werewolves out here? Silly. Is that a no? T Dude, again, time to get going. It is almost time that we're gonna leave. Many dark things. There's a lot of dark things here in this cemetery. Hunting. Accident. I can swarm. That's all I can say. All right, we're going to get going. That's good. All right. Thank you for talking with us tonight. We really appreciate it. I just don't want it to get too dark out here. Yeah. We still gotta walk back out to the car. Anything? A couple things. Talking about rituals and stuff like that. The hunter, 
I said, there's a hunter out here, and he said, not that kind. I said, well, what kind is it? And you said, the one that's looking for you. Fuck like that. Yeah. That's creepy. All right. Well, thank you to everybody who was with us, speaking with us today. I'm sorry if there's some evil rituals going on out here. We don't support that. And thanks for allowing us into this beautiful place. All right, bud. Hello! <laughs>